birthdays. Oh, birthdays. I fit number 23. I'm sure some people celebrate their birthday in a festive way. I assume. If you're like me, your birthday's more of a reflection period. You sit down and think about all those things that just just blew up in your face. And it feels like a season recap to a really shitty show. It's a show where the writers keep on delaying the gratifying part. And it just keeps on going and going. You know, you sit down and you go through the recap and you think, you know, life, life is confusing, man. It's 23, it's just one more year. It's one more set of 12 months of shit. Good thing I'm positive, though. But on the upside, with these last 12 months, month, months, months, I have gained some life experience, uh, seen a few things, learned a few things. So I think this might be a good opportunity to begin filling up my book of wisdom. I think it's also time I stop keeping books that look like they've been through a war. This is disgusting. So here we go, things I've learned while being 22. Honesty is the best policy. It's also the most depressing and instantly disappointing policy. Unless you're a famous musician, accidentally homeless, or planning on auditioning for Jesus Christ Superstar, this look might not work for you. The ladies do not dig the Jesus. If you're ever asked the question, do not answer with, well, it's not chocolate. It is possible to hate your job more than you hate yourself. Flush twice. Always flush twice. Do not believe phrases like, we're going on a trip, we'll be doing this later, or I'll do it tomorrow. I'll let you know means there's a gap of time between now and the moment I'm going to tell you no. We'll see means no. Maybe means no. I guess means, yeah, but you should probably uninvite me from whatever the hell you invite me to. If you're thoughtful, you're in for a long life. There will always be a gardener outside your house in the middle of you recording a video! Jesus! It is not okay to say, yo, bitch, before asking if someone's seen Breaking Bad. It's more or less not okay to say yo bitch at all, anywhere. Nine times out of 10, if you're going around a corner, you're more likely to run into a prostitute than opportunity. If you're asking a friend for romantic advice, stop. They do not know. Even if they know the person you're talking about, they do not know. Working in groups is damn near impossible. Privacy is dead and everyone's a creeper. For any huge endeavor you wanna get involved in, you're gonna have to swim through a sea of wannabes to get to the people who actually do shit. Sometimes the best show of ever comes to an end, and then you cry. People love to offer half-assed help. If your name is Ramses and you're thinking of working in a place that has an Egyptian theme, if you expect people to make the wrong choices and be stupid, you will rarely be disappointed. People will be brutally and tactlessly honest with you, and then if you return honesty, they will recoil like a vampire being dipped in a pool of holy water. No matter how far you walk, there will always be a comimiente. If you ever catch yourself asking the question, oh my god, does that mean that I, yes, the answer is yes. Whatever the end of that question is, yes. One of my worst qualities that I admire is my ability to hold a grudge forever. That guy who says, the minute you die, I'm a piss on your grave. That's me. Procrastination is an art, a dark art. When it comes to planning, thinking is good. Doing, often better. Your friends will only be as close as their drug use allows them to be. Unless you're Neil Patrick Harris, winking is dead. Do not do it. When thinking about a significant other, your assumptions will usually be wrong. Except for those moments where it would feel real bad to be right. Then you're right on the money. If you work the register at a movie theater, you will randomly find yourself telling people to enjoy the movie. At a gas station. Watching Louis C.K. live is a wonderful experience. When deciding on whether or not to make a complicated plan with close friends, you gotta think of two things. How complicated is this plan? And how much do I like these people? Some roads of understanding are just not meant to merge. Every heart mends. You go to a club and don't dance, the worst thing you can hear is, what do you mean you don't dance? I'll show you, I'll show you how to dance, come here. If you don't dance, just don't, don't go to the club. If somebody says you're being paranoid, knock them out and pat them down. They're probably wearing a wire. Most of the time, romance will be fleeting, but the regret that follows, that lasts a lifetime. If you leave your broken bicycle in the entrance hallway to your house, it doesn't fix itself. It is never too late to severely fuck up. The world of Harry Potter will always have a place in my heart. Stay the f away from people who say I love you more than 10 times a day. They don't. It's always the people who are the most comfortable in their sexuality who venture the farthest from it. If you order hot dogs at a movie theater, chances are you're a psychopath. I love Tom Hanks. If you don't do something for a long time, you might not be that good at it when you start again. Who knew? 
There you go, humanity. A few bits of wisdom. And now for the first thing I've learned while being 23. If you do a vlog, you might end up talking for hours and forget to eat breakfast and then your stomach hurts. I gotta go, bye. It's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. I'm so more amused by TV shows. What the hell is ADD? My friends say I should act my age. What's my age again? What's my age again?